Welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls. The final part, I think. I'm gonna say that and then it's gonna like last 20 more parts, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the final part. My name is Alex, or Silvermont, and there's a, quite a few phantoms about. But let's get this going. I assume this big old hole leads to the final area. I hear a voice of your. The old one is calling for thee. Let us proceed below to its lair. Sure thing. <laughs> oh, that giant sword on the, my back kind of ruined it. <laughs> Died. That would be really funny if he pulls you down and then you just splat on the ground. You died. Whoa. Where are we going, Ash Lake? Yeah, I know that's not in Demon Souls, but shh. Yep, I have a sword sticking through my head. or something. Old one, I have brought thee what thou wishest. Thy new demon. Come now, be good. Let us proceed below to its lair. Let us... Whatever your choice, you are our first visitor. May you be welcome here.
no one wishes to go on. shall imprison thee no longer. Hmm. Why do you keep doing that? I'm not even pressing anything. So... The old one and I shall slumber interminably. That is the way it must be. Thou mayst go. Be gone to thine world. Hmm. I'm gonna assume if you attack her now, you get one ending, and if you just leave, you get another ending. I assume attacking her would be the bad ending, because she's putting this thing to sleep. Maybe she turns into a boss. I don't think she does, but well, that'd be cool. Um... We'll go with this ending. At last, at last, my duty is fulfilled. Sure, why not? swept back into the lulling fog. Boletaria was spared from the demons, but also lost its knowledge of soul arts. The souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved. And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. Brave new hero of unprecedented power. Well, that was Demon Souls. Or at least most of it. I'm sure I missed something here and there. Miyazaki and Mr. Ito. Ending music's a little bit like, um... The, uh, uh, nameless song from... What's it called? Dark Souls. Dark Souls! Honda! Hmm... Did I do all the bosses? I think so. Oh, I'll have to check. I don't think I missed anything too important. Probably just those tendency events, huh? 
Hmm, well, what did I think of Demon Souls? It was good. I liked it. It was a little bit unpolished here and there, but <laughs> overall, I think it was pretty damn good. A few questionable design elements, as all the Souls games have, but overall, yeah. Uh, it's interesting to compare it with Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2. Hard to say which is better, because... Well, there are some things that have definitely improved. But other things... Mm... Chris Fairbank, Claire Corbett... Mike Carter... Vanderboy... Mm, a lot of... Uh... They seem to reuse a lot of voice actors from Dark Souls to Dark Souls... From Demon Souls to Dark Souls. Less so from Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, but slightly. It has, I'd say, more of a straightforward story, I'm thinking. But that's not a bad thing. It definitely has that similar sort of storytelling that, you know, we all, we all know and love. But they tell you just enough. <laughs> Man-eaters. Her. Gameplay-wise... I think... I don't know. I definitely prefer the magic. I mean, I like how it works, but I think having it changed to a number of spells was definitely better. Whereas in Dark Souls 2, it's a number of spells, but then you can also replenish them, which I really don't like, because it means that people can just buy, like, 99 wilted herbs. Herbs, for Americans. They can buy, like, 90... and Namco Bandai. But yeah, they can buy, um... 99 herbs, and then just spam crystal soul spears again and again, you know? I don't... I don't like that. I think... Yeah, Demon's... Dark Souls 2, I can see where it has some Demon Souls influences in it, with, like, some of the items and stuff. And, and speaking of which, there's Gull Vinland, the squid-headed knight. The Adjudicator, with its golden crow. Yeah, I think... I think Dark Souls 1 is my favourite, but... That was the first one I played, so I'm probably biased. I mean... I don't know, what was the first Souls game you played, and is that your favourite? Because... I'm not sure how biased I am there, but... I like all three of them. But, I think with Demon Souls... Going back to it now, I'm comparing it to some of the newer things that Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 have, which are just very convenient, but I think had I played them in order, I don't know. All three games are great though, and this has been my five year anniversary since Demon Souls' is... Demon Souls release, Maiden in Black Demon Souls. And I assume now we're going to start at the beginning of the game again. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Here we are. World United's Trophy. Let's read her soul. <laughs> I assume everyone's going to be gone. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh well. Maybe I'll play some more at some point. But, uh... Finishing stats are level 70, and stats are all over the place. Either way, this has been the five-year anniversary of Demon Souls Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And... You know, I think we're done. This has been Silvermont or Alex signing off. Hang on. No, not that. <laughs> oh, and of course, Silvermont or Alex, and of course our character, who we've shared this adventure with. You! No, shame he can't point at himself, but, uh, Silver Slayer. Ha, <laughs> 
Alright, I will see you guys sometime. <laughs> Ciao. Take care.